Right. Right. Okay, this is a 555 timer circuit. Very simple circuit. Modified to control a phone. Um, very basic. As you can tell from my other videos, I'm very much into my time lapse, that kind of thing. Um, obviously, a lot of phones have quite good cameras in them. Um, and you probably by now got two or three phones kicking around. Um, which you know, which would do quite well for time lapse if you could just tap into the camera. Sadly, a lot of the time you can't actually use the camera at full resolution if you like write an app to do it. Because I've I've tried writing apps to do time lapse. You have to either hack the phone about or crack it or whatever to get full camera access. So I basically, I've come up with I've dug out my old college uh, breadboard. I haven't used it for about ten years. Uh, knocked a 555 circuit together which controls which, which also controls the transistor which grounds everything so to simulate a touch on a screen you have to have a ground um, so this is just the very rough prototype as you can see there it is um, yeah so you see what happens I'm touching it with a plastic pen here we go So, there you go. That that's it. It seems to work in principle. I'm quite happy with that. For you know, I don't know, a couple of hours I knocked it up. So yeah, to simulate the touch, bit of tin foil on a bit of wire. So now to build the circuit proper. Um, but as you can see, that works quite well. Um, yeah. Okay, here's the uh, circuit. I just thought I'd show you with it with the um, tester connected, just so you can see. See so there you go. You can hear the tone going with the earth. So obviously every time it earth, that simulates someone touching the screen. Um, yeah, you can, see you can do all sorts of things with this really. But yeah, interesting. <coughs> okay, just thought I'd show absolutely no intervention from me. So as you can see, it's taped to the screen now. It's still working. So yeah, it's good. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd show you that.